Hello everyone, it's James from Square Internet here with another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom WordPress login URL for your website. So typically you would log into a WordPress website using forward slash WP hyphen admin or forward slash WP hyphen login dot PHP. So one reason that it can be useful to use a custom URL instead of the default URLs is to make it easier to hack or attack your website or the websites that you're managing. So theoretically, if a bot or a hacker was looking to gain access to your WordPress website, it's an extra layer of security and it potentially makes it more difficult for them to do that or to try things like brute force attacks on your WordPress website. So it's a nice simple um, thing you can do to just make your website slightly more resistant to attack. It's easy to change the URL and it provides a nice little extra bit of security, I think. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Um, there's a free plugin we're going to use that takes about two minutes to download the plugin, install it and to change the URL. So just to demonstrate what I mean, I've got my staging environment here and there's typically two ways I can log in. I can type forward slash WP admin like so, or um, I think it's probably less common. I could just type in WP hyphen login dot PHP. Probably um, bots and hackers would know to use both of those methods. So let's say we want to change the URL to something like more obscure, like a collection of numbers, non-capital uh, numbers and letters. So capitalized letters, non-capitalized letters, you know, something like this. Let's just make something up. So let's say we want that to be the URL for this page for the WP login template. To do that, we're going to go into plugins. We're going to click add new. Just to check I haven't Still got it installed. Still got it installed. I'll just delete it to um, walk you through the steps. So we'll click add new. We'll type WPS hide. And we'll find this um, really handy little plugin. Simplest kind of plugin that I've seen for changing the WP login page. We're just going to activate it. And that should be done. Okay, so it's now activated. Just scroll down and click on settings. And it'll take you to this page, which you can also access from the main settings submenu here in your um, dashboard by scrolling down to WPS hide login. Uh, so this is the section that we're concerned with in this video. Got two links here. We've got a login URL link, and we've got a redirection URL link. So this is where you change the actual URL to log into your website. And this is where you can send people when they try to access the forward slash WP admin or forward slash WP hyphen login page. So after you change it and people try to access the wrong URL, you can send them somewhere else on your website, you know, like a 404 page or something like that. But for now, I'm just going to copy in that collection of letters and numbers I was typing earlier to change the login URL. I'm just going to leave the redirection URL as it is because I'm not too concerned with people where they're sent if they access the wrong URL because anyone that should be logging in should have the right URL after we change it and tell them. So let's click Save Changes. Let's go back to here and let's open website in an incognito window and I'm just going to grab the new login URL numbers and letters. I'm going to add it on to the end with a forward slash and voila we've got the login page so we can now log in via our new URL. Let's just check that we can't log in using the default stuff can't be found so it's just sent to like a default 404 which is good and this 
So again, we got sent to a 404 page, 404 page, sorry, which is good. So now if somebody is attempting to gain access to the website that shouldn't have access, it's going to be a little bit harder for them because the default login pages can no longer be accessed. So it's going to be harder for people to try and brute force access the website. So nice little simple uh, fix that you can implement on your website just to add a little bit of extra security. So I hope you found that video useful. If you did, make sure you subscribe for future videos. More is releasing new free WordPress content. If you've got any questions about the video, pop a comment and I'll get back to you if it's something I can help you with. Um, as always, if you're looking for an easier way of working with WordPress in general, I've got a free course, WP the Easy Way. It's a complete system of building WordPress websites without a theme, lots of plugins or a developer. There's a link in the video description you can click to sign up and get free access. Thanks very much for watching the video as always, and I hope to see you on future videos.